Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Kego Moriyama Photography. And today we are going to talk about this camera, the Canon P. So uh, I came up to uh, close to this camera a few years ago when I saw on the internet uh, uh, one of this model that uh, was beautifully painted white with the red uh, leatherette and uh, I really fell in love with that so I decided to contact the person that uh, uh, was showing the, the camera and uh, unfortunately really unpolite he replied me I'm, I'm not going to tell you anything about uh, this camera I'm not going to tell you where uh, I made it painted and where uh, to find the leatherette so uh, I decided that uh, okay if you're a way of considering the uh, photo community a uh, sharing uh, uh, community where you have to share your experience your knowledge uh, uh, with others uh, uh, probably your concept is a little bit different so uh, okay I decided to buy mine and uh, leave uh, leave this way and uh, I touch it again uh, after a long time uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, I shoot uh, a roll of uh, uh, Fuji color and uh, here are the pictures that uh, uh, came out so the uh, Canon P uh, P stays for popular uh, popular uh, was a rangefinder camera that was produced by uh, Canon and was compatible with the Leica M39 uh, lenses. It was introduced in 1959 and uh, was a kind of a, a low cost uh, camera. That's why also the uh, popular uh, part. There are two versions, one uh, uh, grey like mine and uh, a black one that is a little bit more uh, rare and person never uh, see one uh, around. Uh, it has uh, the uh, line inside the finder that are going to cover uh, the uh, different uh, um, lenses that you can uh, put inside the 35 the 50 and the uh, 100 millimeter if i'm not uh, uh, wrong exactly uh, unfortunately i used uh, mine uh, with uh, uh, 25 millimeters so uh, I was not able to utilize the uh, lines that are uh, inside uh, the camera itself uh, uh, one of the characteristics of this camera is that uh, the uh, let me open it so first of all to open you have to first turn the lock that is here that will move the small lever and then you can open it so the carton inside you see that is kind of damaged well this is pretty common because uh, the way that uh, it is uh, done i don't remember which which type i should uh, sorry I, I'm, I'm checking now the uh, the internet the casual photo file that uh, made a really nice review of, uh, of this camera and I will uh, link in the description below so that you can have a chance to read it and uh, but this carton is made by a metal that is really easy uh, to be dented so almost 99.9 percent .9 of the Canon P that you will find around uh, will have uh, this uh, uh, issue does it mean that the camera doesn't work no uh, you can still use it without uh, uh, any problem and another good point uh, of this camera that i really like a lot is uh, this one is the lever to uh rewind the uh the film how does it work there is here as you let me see if you can see uh, near the shutter you can turn it to uh, actuate the shutter or to uh turn to rewind and when you rewind uh, you uh, use this lever it was so nicely designed because when you don't need it you simply close it nice right 
and the line is really clean and perfect. Another nice thing is that of course you can attach an external flash with a PC SIM cord here. Uh, as I was saying, the uh, viewfinder you have the 3550-100 line, so you know what happened when you're attaching uh, your lens, what uh, would be in frame or not. Uh, it uh, has, uh, uh, of course, bulb, one second to 1000, the shutter speed. And uh, let me unscrew the lens. And this is the way that you will see the camera. This is similar to uh, the Canon uh, 7, if I'm not getting wrong, uh, except the fact that the 7 has uh, uh, another dial here. But uh, I really feel like the simplicity of this camera is something amazing. It's so modern, but at the same time so vintage, and the size is, is really perfect and easy to use. So all the pictures that I've took uh, with this camera and that I show you um, were taken with this Vogtlander uh, Snapshot Scopar 25mm, right? yeah, f4. Uh, and the way that uh, I uh, took the picture is simply uh, based on the aperture that I have, uh, see what is in uh, focus and not, and then uh, just framing inside the uh, viewfinder. So this is just a, uh, a small uh, review of this uh, a little beauty that you can, I feel like, find pretty easily again it's a popular the cost itself is even not that expensive and uh, allow you to have a nice range finder uh, with you uh, that can compete uh, uh, really easily with the normal Leica uh, with uh, L39 uh, screw mount and uh, let me know in the comments below if you have one of these if you are the lucky one to have the black or uh, if you are the lucky one to have the white painted with the uh, red uh, leatherette. Uh, what do you think about the, the camera itself and what do you think is the best lens to uh, use uh, with it? Um, I would be happy to see uh, what's your, uh, your opinion. And that's all for this really short video and uh, till next time, as usual, stay clean, bye!